Hello guys, Wanda here. Hello. I am live in craft tonight and uh, sorry for the background noise you're going to hear. <laughs> but I have to share my home with my family so they're watching a Crash em Up Bang Bang movie and it's kind of loud. <laughs> Anyways, I hope everyone is doing well and I'm just wanting to hang out and um, visit with you guys. Hi, Cindy. And uh, just, you know, do another bug. <laughs> I've been having fun with the bugs. I really enjoyed the praying mantis. And this is, this was technically listed under a ladybug, but it looks like a beetle to me. Here's the original. I'm going to turn it sideways so at least if I can lift up a bit. So isn't that pretty? I have uh, like five other projects going on right now, so I'm taking a break from that and just thought I'd pop in and decompress and visit. Hope everybody's well. Hi, Lori. We got you this time. Yay. Hi, Tammy. So this beetle, we'll call it a beetle since it doesn't really look like a ladybug to me, um... I've been, I started it, I don't know, a week ago or so, and then I got some other projects going on, so I put it aside, but it's been calling my name, so I'm going to bling it out today with you. Anyways, I like these foils for it. I think I'm going to get into that right away. I'm going to work just really quick here with the black Tosca 1MR, oops. That one might be leaky. Not sure. Uh, don't you love that when your pins are bad? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I need some more pins. I just thought I was ready. So do you guys have any cool projects going on right now. Anybody working on anything cool? This is, I believe, an Artuli acrylic paint pen 3.0 medium or M millimeter in black. And I pre-lined or I think I might have, I don't know if I lined it live with you last time or not. Wow, my days are all running together. Uh, I did use the the new pen that I'm crazy about. The Lowell Cornell Fine Line Paint Pen. I'm just doing a second coat in here in the black to deepen it up before I add the foil to the shell. You know, I've, I think I've decided why I like foil so much because well a it's beautiful <laughs> and B there are so many options there's just it there's everything a little bit of everything every kind of foil and if you're not feeling like painting the whole thing you know a whole scenery you can just go pick one right I like that so I'm gonna grab my gloves and I'll be working with the new Beatles foil glue. Oh, and I got this ink I think I want to try to somehow to incorporate it. It's, um, what is that? Dr. P.H. Martin's Iridescent. This one's a copper plate gold. Isn't that pretty? I want to try it in that pen. I thought I'd add it to our... Mr. Beetle, some or Mrs. I don't know. It's a beetle. <laughs> it might be a girl. It might be a boy. It's just happy to be here. Oh, Tammy's work on on your second six foot section fence art. Oh wow! I would love to see that. Have I seen that? I don't think I've seen that. If I have, I no, I couldn't have seen that. Hi, Matt. Who else is here? Oh, 
All right. So let me grab my glue. Beetles. This is what we're working with here. And I'm going to go in right from the bottle today on the large part of our shell. And I have a big hole in my rock right there. I don't know if you can see it, but good Lord, I'd say it's probably two centimeters deep. Let me see how far I can put that pencil in there. I don't even have a lead on the pencil, but yeah, fully engulfs that. So say at least two centimeters, maybe three. Nah, not that much. It's half of this rock deep. <laughs> so maybe one. I'm terrible with numbers and measurements, but. I don't recommend applying your glue this way unless you have a really big section that you're working with. I really, really recommend using the nail foil or the disposable eyeliner brushes when you're working with smaller sections and little pointy areas, you know. I'm trying to push a pillow, I call it a pillow layer, like a cushion toward the edge so it'll give me some cushion. It's like a 3D. And then if you let the glue set and settle for a minute, it's quite like resin. It is a form of resin actually. It will self level. All right, I'm going to torch that to warm it up and to get the bubbles out. All right, if you can see. I'm gonna let it set just a bit more. My rock's kind of cold. And I'm gonna be using the MacArt 6 Watt Mini light that I rubbed the label off of. <laughs> and we'll give that a cure. So I'm thinking about this black for No, the tail or the head part of the lady or beetle right we're calling it a beetle but I have a choice here I have the plain holographic black or the crushed glass black aren't those gorgeous they're so rare these two foils are probably the rarest foils <laughs> so if you come across them buy them it's really hard to find black So, I haven't used it in a while. I thought I'd give it a whirl. I like, I think I might use them both. Yay, crushed black. Okay, we got a vote for the crushed black. All right, I'm going to cut a section of that for at least part of it. All right. Thank you, Cindy. See, I never have to make up my mind. Just ask. Ask and you shall receive. All right, I'm gonna do this. I love this uh, like deep red color here. Oh, let me tell you guys, on, on the four millimeter, Lord have mercy, on the four centimeter, the wide foils, these wide ones, some of them come with this little edge. Can you see it here? It's clear. You, if you're doing a pattern like this and that is going to be in your pattern, you've got to cut that off. So I've cut it off of this side because I don't want it to, I don't want to have like a clear stripe down my shell because it is a foil there. Even though it's clear, it is foil and it will 
it will ruin your it will ruin your day you will cry like a big dog so even though it's not there I just wanted it off that side hello everyone I hope y'all are having a fabulous evening Let's see oh what a nice release so when you're pulling your foils remember to lift slow Now I was expecting that with the hole there because there's a large hole over here. Yeah, it's not going to go in there. But when you lift slowly, you can see what your problems are going to be. Can you see all these spots in there? See all those spots? So that's foil that hasn't actually transferred. So you can see where it's left some... Hang on. Oh no, come back. Um, I don't have autofocus on live. Okay, see the spots there? That's um where the foil hasn't transferred. So you lay it back down, push it back in there. With I've been using swabs a lot lately. Uh, silicone tip nail tool works really good. <laughs> Hi, Julie. Hey, hey. And Heather, hello. Then you bring it back up. See, all clear. Isn't that pretty? This came, this foil comes in a set, or at least it did. I I don't know the status now. Uh, MacArt or MacArt. It uh, came with three foils at three thirty rolls of foil, three boxes of foil, two full size nail glues, a base coat, and a top coat. And it was kind of expensive. It was like. 30 something dollars but I had to have this, this foil it came with this great box of foil and some other floral prints but this one this particular box was I'd have probably paid the whole 30 for it it's beautiful I'll get it back out and show you guys again but isn't that gorgeous look at that transfer yes yes please so in this little area where the glue I think it's cured. Yeah, it's cured. I'm going to try and see if I can do some fancy, fancy footwork here and fill it with foil. So I'm getting my stylus and I want to match up. See here where it missed the spot? There's a hole there, so I'm going to try to get it in there with the stylus. What do you guys think? Did I do it? Yeah, partially. Let me try again. It may not work. If not, I'll just paint it and we'll call it good. <laughs> so so, but at least it's not pure white. I don't like this corner here either. There you go. All right, I'm going to work on the other side. Put some glue down. Thank you, Julie. You know, let me grab that box of foil so I don't forget to show you. Hang on. I did show it the other night on the live. But, so it's this box here. And the one I'm working with is this one I believe oh no it's this one anyways they are fun you know they they're like the they're galaxy themed and then they have extra they're just extra <laughs> so later on after I'm done if you guys want to see them again I will definitely pull them out and we will look at them so I'm going to do this one this way I think it's kind of got the same pattern this way, but I'm going to do it the other direction. Because 
Yeah, unfortunately, I wish they had a mirror, but it's all printed the same direction on the foil. So I'll just go inverted. Thank you. Hi, Delia. Um, which one was the last live I did? Uh, I don't know. I can't, they all kind of run together. Um, I did show this foil. Anyways, I did link the, um, the set that it's in also in the description of the post on the last live I did. If you wanted to search for it, it's hashtag Wanda live. And that will bring up all the lives. And I'm pretty sure Margie also files them in the guides. Hi, Kathleen. Thank you. Hi, Talis. Do I pronounce your name right? Or is it Tolis? Okay, I'm doing a nice cushion layer here. Because I want it. I want it to give me that 3D look. Let it settle just a bit. Torch the bubbles out. But don't burn your other foil. <laughs> All right. You want it nice and glossy. No bubbles. Yeah. See, I'm missing a little bit down here. I'm just going to let it settle. Hi, Kelly and CC, Kathleen. I think I saw you. Okay. All right. One cycle here with this one. So we had a vote for the black crushed glass for another bit of the beetle. I also have this fun black. Isn't that pretty? And I have that in pink too. I don't know. Yeah, nah. That's too much, huh? <laughs> but I have this crazy fun rainbowy pretty stuff too. Yay! <laughs> Delia, great. They, that's a pretty good one. I go back and forth now between that one and this little one. I really like that. Um, the UV light from the little 6 watt nail dryer from, um, in this pretty real quick before I forget what I'm doing, from 5 Below. I really like that. Okay, so I was saying a bit ago that there is this clear edge on these foils, these bigger ones. you got to watch for them on these, the ones with patterns. Because um, this clear part here on the edge will mess up your design. So you want to cut that off. I've cut it off of this edge. And I'm going to line that up here. I'm going to over just a bit so that I know I've got a good transfer. See that big bubble there in the middle? So if I were to just rip this off and like do it really fast, that would not have transferred. That would all be one big spot. Let me pull up and see if I can show you, see? So that's why you wanna pull up really slow when you're working with foils and make sure that you've done, done the work of 
pushing them down, sealing the sides and the edges. It really pays to take your time. Don't be in a hurry, unless you're working with these transparent ones. These are so forgiving that you can just pretty much do what you want. <laughs> you don't have to really do anything. They just really work all by themselves. So, I mean, they are so forgiving. And I'm so excited that I'm going to be distributing those. And they're big. They're going to be this size, guys. They're going to be this wide. So let me show you the difference. See the difference? These are two and a half centimeters and the new ones coming are going to be four centimeters wide so I'm not doing any boxes because the large boxes this size they're way too expensive plus the shipping on that it would make it not worth it for any of us to to do this so to keep it affordable for all of us at five dollars for a set plus an extra one I'm going to put in 11 strips for five bucks I mean but anyways we get um eight of these transparent ones and I believe it's all of them except for these two kinds right here, the oil slickies, which are the ones I think we all use the least. But we're going to have all of these in there. And then I also got a holographic silver, a holographic gold, and a holographic rose gold. So I'll be sending all of those 11 strips in total for 5 bucks, and they're going to be 120 uh, centimeters long by four wide that's what that's about and that sign up list is in the announcements I believe it's pinned to the top too so I have enough I bought enough for a hundred I think I'm only gonna promise like 90 just in case I didn't get the whole amount that they promised um, so I'll promise 90 reservations and then if it goes well I'll start I'll get another order coming if I get past 75 right now I'm at 40 so I think we're good to go if you guys are wanting to get some of that transparent foil and having troubles finding it I got you let me see here oh that's neat you had a nail polish. Yeah, I've you know I've seen been seeing the this look with I think I've never actually done it. I think Folk Art has a crackle paint that you can do this with. Katie just did it the other day, and so did Rachel. Rachel's Rocks Canada. So Katie Thompson and Rachel's Rocks Canada they both have some crackle videos. Amazing. Katie's our gal, so check out her channel. Pretty please. It's Katie Thompson. Um, and I believe it's rockin.kk on YouTube. I'll link that there. So that looks pretty good. Love this. This is going good. So black crackle. Should we do it down here? Up here? Or both? Julie, which ones? Ooh, you got to send me the link so I can put it in the... Uh, Julie's saying she just went and ordered the foils, and the set is on special 20% off right now. Send me the link, Julie. Put it in the comments, too, so everyone can have it, and then I'll, I'll attach it to the, the post description as well. Thank you. Love it when y'all are looking out. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Joanne. And Kathy... Who else did I miss here? All right, so I gotta get an eyeliner brush. And since I'm going into these smaller sections, I'm going to pour some into my dish. Sorry, my dish is dirty. I need to re-up on my little uh, six spot um, paint palette. <laughs> Yay! Nice. Okay. That is so good to know because it is the, 
a little spendy. So if that one's 20% off, that's a great deal. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So I'm applying the glue. This is the new Beatles. I say new. I keep saying that. It's not new. I'm just now finding it and I'm digging it. It's Beatles Nail Art Foil Glue. You get two for, I think they dropped the price yesterday too, I saw. I think it was eight something yesterday. It was ten a couple days ago. Now it's two for like eight something. So I'm going to do this one. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put these up here so I can cure some other areas in one go. And we'll pick out some more foil. That's a great deal. So these are disposable eyeliner brushes and you can get a hundred of these for really inexpensive as well. It's usually between six and nine dollars depending on what the sale is going on at that time. I think I'm going to do the legs um, with some like meshy looking holographic, meshy, more like, <laughs> not messy, meshy. It's kind of like a fishnet, I guess. Problem is I don't know where I put it. I actually cleaned my room today, you guys. Shocking. I have a student. I'm teaching a, I'm doing art tutoring. So I, I actually had to clean my room so I could be, you know, professional. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna do it this direction. And while that's curing, I'm gonna turn around and get that other foil. So imagine you, there's some music playing, it's elevator music. La, 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 la. So what song did you guys listen to? <laughs> okay, so I have some choices. I really like this one. This is the one I was thinking of. Isn't that cool? That for the legs possibly, or, oh my gosh, there's so many here. We could do polka dot, or roses, or paisleys. Or floral. I don't think I want the panda or the southwest ones, but. And then I have these other ones I'll show you in just a minute too. We can pick from those. All right, so I do know we voted in this black crackle here. Let's turn it this way. Black foil is temperamental sometimes, but I think this one, yep, yeah, it's going to be temperamental. See that, how it doesn't want to go down? But if you can get it started, usually you can get it to go. Okay, I'm putting the light on top of the foil and everything. Hopefully it'll work. So what should we do up here? Let's do, do you want to do this? Should we do this color this way? Of course, every fold is on the green gold part. Let me see if I can find two that's not. 
I like this part right here. Can you see that? I think I'm going to try to do it this way. Like that. And then, so since I'm doing the pattern, let's see there, I'm going to try to do it the same. <laughs> I don't know if I can. It's big enough. I think I can. Okay, let's see if this worked. Yay! See how that helps? If you can cure if you can cure it on top of your foil, sometimes that second go will make it work. Okay, I'm going to grab the edges with a stylus. Don't worry about the blurriness of it. That will go away when we put the um, resin on there. So we're going to ignore that side. And look at these pretties over here. <laughs> okay, so. Now these are full metallic, so they're always going to show any little imperfection in your glue. And if you were not nice to them, they will show that. But I like the way that looks. Kind of like the little bubbles that were in the glue. So it gives it that beetly texture, huh? Isn't metallic foil just not nice? Let me turn the flash on, see if that does anything. See how it shows every imperfection? That's why when you're working with full metallic foils, you gotta like lower your expectations because they will disappoint you. But they can also be really beautiful. And I promise it's not you. We all have issues with it. All right, so on to the, I gotta turn the flash off, it's too much. Thank you, Julie. Um, Belinda, let me hear, let me see. Oops. Uh-oh, I think I lost your question. Hi, Allison and D. Marie. Hang on, Belinda, there you are. Is it necessary to use a top coat if painted before using the nail glue and foil? I'm not sure I'm understanding. Uh, you always need to seal nail foil. If that's what you're asking me, you have to seal it because it will just scratch right off the surface. It's very delicate. You can touch it gently, but if you scratch it at all, it will come right. Okay, it's not like it's gonna fly off, but the, the pattern will be damaged. So you have to seal it with something and don't seal it with DuraClear. DuraClear has been damaging the foils. So I know that early on I said DuraClear, 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 but it doesn't work with all of them. So I'm taking it off the list. My, my go-to now, 100%, is Rust-Oleum 2X Matte Spray. Love it. Love it. If you don't want to use a spray, you can use like a Mod Podge. But Mod Podge doesn't work with pens. So if you're using any kind of pen, 
Mod Podge will just, you'll cry. <laughs> it will make your pins bleed. And that makes me sad. Mod Podge is pretty cool, but it doesn't work with paint pens. So we're going to do some beefy legs here. I'm going to try to do a little separation between this part of the leg and then this big part so that I can put a line in there and show the separation. Oh, you might miss it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You see that small line of separation I'm making right there? That will give us two separate leg parts. And these long parts here, they're not done yet either. I have to add the, what are those, claws? <laughs> you know, those prickly claws they have. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's some serious TV happening in the background over there. Have I showed you guys double foil? I think I have. I think I'm gonna double foil the rump on this bug too because it's bugging me. Even though I know it'll be fine when I cover it, I just, I want it to be fine now. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the bubbles. Give that a cure. There. All right, I'm gonna check my check the feed here. Hang on. Hey, thank you. Hi, Allison. Hey, uh, Bo is it Belinda? Let me see if I can find it again. Let me know if that answered your question. Hello everyone, just hanging out tonight, if you're just jumping on, I'm just saying howdy and doing a beetle, some more bugs, bugging you guys with my bugs. This is the other box of holographics. There's another version, another foil here that has some like plaids and stars. You know these stars in this roll are really cool for the 4th of July stuff. Anyways, these are cool. Oops, we're done already. Man, 60 seconds goes by fast. You know, I'm going to hit this just a bit. Oh, I forgot to do that one. <laughs> All right, well, uh, okay, so I'm going to use fishnet, holographic, Voila! Isn't that gorgeous? I can never get tired of looking at something holographic. Just, just makes me happy. Alright, I gotta do this leg here. That's like missing a stocking, huh? 
you don't walk around with one stocking missing, do you? But we don't have four legs either, so or f six. It's got six legs. You know, that's what makes it a bug, huh? Insects have six legs. And spiders are arachnids. You know, I'm actually thinking about doing a spider. You know, I like to do bugs that scare me because when I do them, I also research the bug and find out about the bug. Like, why Why do I need to be afraid of this bug? This bug ain't no thing, right? So, knowledge is power, people. I'm just going to do this with my little flashlight. This little flashlight is very handy because it will cure this in about 15 seconds, depending on what you're curing. But, hi, Barbara. Um, for these thicker foils, you want a, a better cure than with the transparent foils. You can go for about 10 seconds and they'll stay down real well. But for these heavier duty foils, you want it even stickier. Okay. Got you. Pretty. All right. Double foil. Here we come. So I'm going to do a holographic on top of this pretty black down here. You guys will see what I mean when I put this glue on here. It's glossy like a top coat. So you'll see that the foil would probably be just fine if I would leave it alone. Too late now. See? <laughs> it's just almost perfect off. But no, I had to go and do that. That's okay. I'm going to put on a transparent, which will still show us the crackle, but give us more holograph, like this one here where my thumb is. Oh, come on. Oh, I hope I put it on the wrong side, right side. Okay, I did. <laughs> you guys ever do that and then panic? <laughs> oh no. If you've never experienced it, putting your foil down the wrong side, yeah, that's a problem. It will pull up your beautiful work. <laughs> See, saved by the holographic transparent foil. Isn't that beautiful? And now it's perfectly gorgeous. You'll see, you can still see the crackle in there. Can you see it? That's the prettiest butt I've ever seen. Baby got back. All right, so now I'm gonna go in here. I don't even know what foil I'm putting in here. Oh, I still got to do the other legs, too. You guys better keep me on track tonight. Any suggestions out of what you've seen tonight? The foils I've showed you? What, I, what do you want to see in here? This is technically the face. You want another black like the butt? A double foil? Hi, Lonnie. You're not that late. I know it looks that way, but I really have only done one, two, three, four foils. Hi, Allison. 
Barbara and Lonnie. Okay, how about, dun, dun, dun. let's see, what color can we do on this crazy bug? Any suggestions or should we not? I'll let you guys look. So we're going for this section here, right here between the horns and the sides. That's technically the face. What would you like to see in there? I'm thinking the other black. <laughs> the full, this one. Maybe it'll be gold glitter. Joanne says gold glitter. That's a good one, Joanne. All right, we're doing gold glitter. I gotta vote. Gold glitter. <laughs> Thanks, Lonnie. Thank you for popping on. Pretty good. Good call. Thank you. All right. Let me do those front legs. I need some more glue. <laughs> you did good. Yes, Joanne. Great choice. Good, good choice. So, okay, I just lost, okay, I'm lost on my bug here. I gotta get some clarification before I do this. <laughs> All right, you guys can see this here, right? This is the legs. I think these are the antenna, yeah? Because this is part of the face. So, like this whole bit right here is the head. So what are these, antennas? I just copied it. Let me get the big paper. Oh, those are eyeballs. Oh, I need to start over, guys. <laughs> those are eyeballs. So these are still antennas, but hey, I could fix those eyeballs. Watch this fancy footwork. Okay, so these are going to be blacked out, and I got some pretty mesh, little meshy mesh, like honeycomb looking, little bitty mesh for eyeballs. Bug eyeballs, that is. It wasn't making sense to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I actually totally love it when uh, I have some issues on here so we can problem solve together. Troubleshoot. Get some answers. Figure it out as a team. Since I got the pen out, I'm just fixing up the line right here. Whoops. And apparently coloring. <laughs> All right, you guys know how to take off right? Hopefully I won't mess it up too bad here. Try to take up what you can and then you can take it off with a sharp object if you're working on Santorini that is. You can erase your boo-boo by scratching it or sanding it. And now it's gone. Never even happened. Voila. Okay, those are dry. 
I'm going to grab that honeycomb mesh for the eye. And it's in another set that you guys will recognize because it's my favorite. It's in here. So we're going to use, actually, I'm going to use the polka dots in this one instead of the honeycomb because those are little bitty eyes. So I'm going to use this one for eyeballs. Let me show you. So you just need a very small bit. See the dots in there? We're going to use those for eye, for the eyes. So just cut off a bit where you can get... See, this is what I had in mind, but those are too big. The honeycomb is too large, so... So here we go. We will cure this right here. And these little details like this are what, it's that wow factor when people see it and they want to know exactly how you did it. And that's pretty exciting when you, you know, you get excited about something, you're proud of it, and then somebody else wants to do it. And that's, a, to me, that's a huge compliment. So I get excited when you guys get excited. All right, quick cure. Hi, Shay. Who else is here? Sorry for the wiggle. Okay, so I'm going to be careful not to touch this part with the flowers, just with the polka dots. Same here. Just uh, find a section where it's safe. <laughs> I can see through it. See the eyes now? So does that work for you guys? Okay, so the foils that I've ordered, this is a sample of those. So they're this wide, and this is a, um, I can't remember if it's number one or number three on the photos that I have listed for you guys, but it's the beautiful transparent. See there? Isn't that pretty? So this is one of the eight transparents that will be in the set. All right, so let's, uh, let me finish these legs here. So I think the antenna part, these up here, I think I'm going to do those with the sample foil so you guys can see how it transfers.
let's secure this. There's two down there. I'm gonna grab a micron uh, 0.01, 0.03. And I'm gonna start doing the little, whatever those are, claws or grabby bits. those things. That yeah, makes a difference, huh? Okay, so here we got to finish the legs. So they got to go this direction. And see this has that clear section on the side, so be careful of that. because That will leave you crying. And let's see. I gotta cut this. And I cut it so that I didn't interfere with those two pieces, which I'm going to show you This is the new foil, one of the eight. Put it in there. It's like so, such a good transfer. Just simple, easy, see, no messing up. It's perfect. I went over here. I'll have to color that in with my, but up here is the Hi, Pam. I'm going to color around this. Good fit. All right, so now I'm gonna just do the little touch, little touches, you know, the little hooky things, and uh, add some rhinestones and touch up some of the lines. So what do you guys think of my new bug? Do you like this one? <laughs> Thank you, Pam. I make the ickiest bugs look good. You know, I was saying earlier that, um, you know, I have a fear of a lot of bugs. And I like to take the fear out of them by education is, knowledge is a weapon, you know. So you can learn about them and then take the fear out of it. And so when I make one pretty, it's another step in the direction of not being afraid. And that all started with cicadas. I live in the South and I was, uh, I'm from California, so you can imagine my first encounter with a cicada did not go over well. <laughs> it was uh, rude. And they are not killer bugs, you know, they're big and they're very loud, but they don't even have a mouth. They can't bite you. They don't have stingers, so they can't sting you. About the only thing they could do to you is blow your eardrums or run into you because they're bumbling, silly flyers. They don't fly very well. They absolutely have one uh, uh, goal in their the end life stage, and that is to mate and lay eggs and die. 
They, they're the longest living bug, but they die as soon as they morph into their flying selves. So they spend the first, what, 17 years of their lives in the ground. And then they burrow up and dry out and become those loud, crunchy things. <laughs> but they're actually really beautiful. You should look them up if you don't know what they are. Chicharo. What's that? Chicharo. All right, I got some some more spiky things here. And this is a micron. I think it's a oh, one. Yeah. Pigma. So uh, obviously there's going to be some bling going on here. I'm going to put some rhinestones. I haven't decided where. Maybe... Obviously, the back shell here somewhere, but what should they be? <laughs> Jode, hi. I do. Let me show you. This is my reference photo. I completely went a different direction. <laughs> I know it's huge. Hang on. Let me see if I can lift you up here. So that's what I started with and that's what I ended up with. Completely not even the same thing. That, when I found it on Pinterest, said it was a ladybug. And I thought, you know, that's... Uh, one fancy ladybug. It looks like a beetle, though. So, do we have any um, what are bugs? Entomologist? Is that a bug bug person? Uh, that knows what kind? Oh, I gotta do the horns. What should we do with the horns? What should we do with the horns? Black. Or silver. What should we do with them? Look, I have the. Should I do this color here? When I say the horns, uh, see the pointer? I got foil everywhere. These right here and here. Delia, okay, she camped out one year. When they came up, there were thousands of them and they had really pretty gold foiled wings. True, yes, they are gorgeous. And they are crunchy. <laughs> yep. Oh no, I did it again. Everybody, meet my ceiling fan. Hello. <laughs> Hang on. Come back. There we go, sorry. So, silver. This one's gold. Let me grab some silver. Let's see. Do I have any here? Silver. Do we want holographic silver or like serious silver? Let's see if I can find one of those. Okay, so I have these. Hollow. Lori says hollow. Jody, hollow. Okay, cool. I like hollow too. All right, so let's get the glue going. 
I mean, right? Who doesn't love hollow? The other one was hollow too, but it's not sparkly hollow. It's like flat hollow. I'll show it to you too, because now that I showed it, probably need to follow through with that, right? <laughs> So this is what I popped in there for a moment. It's basically a metallic set. So there's like regular gold, then hollow gold, copper, hollow copper, silver, hollow silver, but not the sparkle kind, the flat. I think that's really pretty. Right there's the hollow silver. Let me grab this hollow just a tad. Good call, good call. Right, I'm going to touch that up with the Posca see the difference between touch up and not touch up it can make or break your design see here you retouch up the paint Sorry, the focus is off. And this is untouched up. <laughs> I know, Jody. I have like, oh my gosh. I think I count, um, yeah, I have over 200 boxes of foil. So that's what, 2,000, 2,000 rolls of foil. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. That's why I kind of have my favorites and then the others are just like icing on the cake. Come on. Ben. All right, so keep doing the touch-ups. So I have that little hole there, remember, in the rock. Got to figure out what to do with that, which I think is going to be a watercolor pen because we want to match the shell. Oops. And, of course, See, it's all getting nice and sharp and fine-tuned. So now all those little edges are done. Okay, let's see. Let's kind of do this here.
Thank goodness for Posca, right? Uh, Delia, I'm not taking uh, money yet. It will probably be five more weeks until the, they deliver them to my door. They're coming from uh, China, so I do have to wait quite a while for delivery. They got to go through customs, and then I will um, accept payments. I can't. I'm not comfortable taking any cash from anybody without them being in my hands. I'd rather just me be out, you know. Obviously, I would pay y'all back, but I'm not going to go there. We're not going to do that. Because Mama don't play that. <laughs> okay. So, rhinestones. I'm thinking like little ones in the flowers. Like that. Thumbs up, Jody. Thank you. All right, let's see what I got here. So I got these big ones. Uh, they might be too big. Sometimes I like to build like forgot I put I got these cushion ones these cushion cuts I could make rhinestone eyes it's hard to see but what do you think Probably not, huh? The other eyes are cooler. This eye or this eye? Ooh, I got lots of thumbs up. Hmm, okay. Let's see, so I'm also thinking in these, um, let's see, probably this size here. Like that, you see that there? Put the bigger ones in there, and then I have some smaller ones too. I'll put in the smaller flowers. And then these little bitty guys. And the smaller ones. So that's in the flowers. See, I think that looks really good. And then I'm not sure about that. What do you think? All right, vote. Yay or nay on the long marquee and the cushion cut eyes. And then we're done. I'm going to sign it. Thank you, Allison and Pam. Thank you. Do you guys always wonder where to sign? Like, where do I put me? There it is. All right, so I guess I'll just add another one of those over there. Yes, with the bling. All right, you guys win. My winners. So I also wanted to tell you something else. I've been using it for a few days now and I'm going to say yes, I like it because I was out of resin for some time and you know, Mr. Resin is <laughs> either it's in stock or it's not and I, I couldn't wait. I needed it. So Lori, thank you so much for turning me on to this bit. 
this is top coat for nails. It's a refill bottle. So, you know, we spend, what, sometimes $10 a bottle on this size of top coat to do whatever you do. Sometimes it comes in a kit, which is nice because you just have the bottle. But um, anyways, so I ordered this. It was $45, but this is 30 second cure time and you're done. So it is, it's a top coat and it's even glossier than UV resin, if you can believe that. <laughs> so I'm going to show you here tonight what that looks like which you guys have seen you have seen me do it but it came out of the nail polish bottle so it is the same thing now you can use a gloved hand or a brush but what you don't want to do I gotta get my riser rock here hang on take all my rhinestones off there oh I'm sorry I got two more things to do I forgot I'm going to use purple watercolor right here and right here. Okay, now, now I'm good. <laughs> Sorry, it was bugging me. Okay. So make sure your hands are clean and, and your rock, all the spots that you don't want there, make sure those are all gone. So if you need to sand any bits off, you know, like little black spots or rusty areas or boo-boos, take care of those obviously before you put the top coat on. Okay, I think we're good. Ready? Top coat going on. Don't forget the one flower. Do I need another rhinestone? Did I miss one? Okay. Let me get my rhinestones back out just in case I need them. Okay, so the one tip I have is go slow because this stuff does kind of bubble a little bit if you go too fast. And it doesn't pop as well as resin with the torch. It will pop, but not as well. So don't scrub like soap, you know? Just be gentle, light touch. And be careful with it dripping down the sides because it will fuse to your surface or your riser rock underneath. <laughs> I glued two rocks together the other day. Yeah, my husband had to pry them apart. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna change gloves because I got some rhinestone work to do before I cure it. But I'm gonna torch before I put the rhinestones just to get out any bubbles I can if they will pop. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Okay, we're good. All right. <clears throat> All right, let me put the rhinestones back on and then we'll cure it in the, the large beetles 84 watt. Okay. I'm also going to spot cure so they don't slip and slide with the little flashlight torch. Okay. Marquee. And I'm a putting these, I'm a, I'm a putting these in the wet top coat. Just like they would if they were doing your fingernails in the salon. I see the other flower I missed now. Thank you for saying that. I would have left it. Oh, let's see. That big one there. Mm. 
Okay, I need one more. Thank you, thank you, thank you for seeing that. See, I love wives, and I don't. I have less mistakes even because you guys. Oh, okay. When you do that, you got to pick it up with the tweezers. And two hands. Okay, we're going in for surgery. <laughs> All right, that one's trash because now the facets won't show up. So, good. He's out of there. You're out of there. Let me see if I can get these bubbles. And add another rhinestone. It sounded worse than it was. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Can you guys see the... Static. What is going on? The trials of Wanda. One more time. Please stay. Yes! Okay, I think Houston, we have touchdown. I think everything looks straight except for this guy. Okay, spot cure real fast. so they don't slide around when I move it into the oven, no, the cooker. This will actually cure it all the way if I just kept doing this for a little bit, but I'm going to pop it in there. And then I'll show you guys the final. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I just love it when we get to talk back and forth and interact. And I love seeing all these little green cameras up there. Like you guys are ready and watching with me. I love that so much. Let me show you that other box of foils that I opened, I think. Yeah, sorry. I didn't finish showing these to you. So this is another holographic set. They've got a Southwest set. I used this on a turtle shell one time. It was pretty cool. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? And look. Pandas, you guys. It's pandas. Uh, Delia is asking, so if you use top coat, you don't use resin. That is absolutely correct. You don't have to because it is a resin. It's a, it's a little more expensive than even the UV resin, and I'm not going to use it like 100% of the time, but I sure do like it. <laughs> it is easier, for sure. <laughs> Here's some, like, space. There's aliens, stars, astronauts, spaceships, planets, moons, galaxies. Satellites, globes. Ooh. Oh, you guys want to see, don't you? Are you ready? <laughs> You're like, what? What? It's been 30 seconds. Okay. Here we go. All good to go. Let me take my paper off. See how? Well, thankfully, I had some paper down there, but the drips, that would have fused to the other rock. But isn't that great? Total gorgeousness. Okay, I'm going to put it up close. See, now you got a full view of the rear end. <laughs> Rhinestones. All right, have you guys had enough bug porn for today? Thank you again, everybody. I'm going to get off, but thanks so much. I'm going to get out of here. Have a good night. I'll see you soon.